So when we think about the pros and the cons of the mini gastric bypass procedure, we have to think about both the short term and the long term pros and cons. Um, in the short term, the, the mini gastric bypass procedure is a laparoscopic or minimally invasive operation. Um, so it's performed uh, by skilled trained surgeons um, with five small laparoscopic incisions typically. And this is very similar to the lap band or to the laparoscopic Roux and Y gastric bypass or the sleeve gastrectomy. Um, they're all done nowadays with a laparoscopic or minimally invasive approach, uh, which generally means uh, very rapid recovery time, very short, if any, hospital stay whatsoever. In the short term, the mini gastric bypass procedure has some advantages in the sense that it's a bit less invasive than the Roux and Y gastric bypass surgery. Um, for starters, it involves only one connection, one surgical anastomosis between the stomach and the loop of intestine that it connects to. There are not two connections as there are in Roux and Y gastric bypass surgery, um, so there is one less place where leakage could occur or where scar tissue or stricture could occur, um, and this is, this is an advantage in the short term. There may be a little less operative time, so a little less time under anesthesia, um, and I think uh, just a small amount less chance for things that go along with slightly more invasive surgery. Additional areas that are cut and, and uh, dissected mean a few more places where bleeding could occur, uh, for example. Um, so those are probably the short-term uh, concerns. I don't think there are any short-term disadvantages of the mini gastric bypass, as it too is a laparoscopic operation, uh, very similar to the other ones, uh, still has uh, small risks associated with anesthesia and undergoing any sort of procedure, um, the cardiovascular and pulmonary risks that are just inherent with um, weight loss surgery in general, and these nowadays are very small statistically. Over the long term, uh, all of the procedures do have some risks. The mini gastric bypass um, has few risks. They include the reduced absorption of vitamins and minerals that occurs as it does occur with gastric bypass surgery done with the more traditional Roux and Y format. Um, this risk may be somewhat smaller, and indeed some of the evidence over the long term indicates that we may have a lower risk of malabsorption uh, of uh, B12 and of some of the other micronutrients. Um, nonetheless, there is a reduced absorption which in part contributes to the good long-term weight loss results. Um, another potential risk of uh, mini gastric bypass surgery over the long term is the risk of ulcers or marginal ulceration where the stomach is connected to the intestine. And this is true for um, Roux and Y gastric bypass surgery as well as sleeve gastrectomy. Um, there's no data that that risk is any higher uh, and probably not lower uh, than it is uh, for either of these other procedures. Um, in the paper that uh, I authored and our group uh, published several years ago examining the question of marginal ulcers, we found that we were able to markedly reduce the rate of marginal ulcers occurring in all our patients uh, by having them stick to a very strict regimen that we developed by uh, eradicating the bacterium called H. pylori and by eliminating the Motrin, Aleve, Ibuprofen, non-steroidal class of drugs which cause most of the gastritis and marginal ulcers that we see. We also implement a regimen of blocking the stomach acid production for at least two months following surgery. And this has nearly eliminated the problem of gastric ulcers. In the papers on uh, mini gastric bypass, um, at two years the rate of gastric uh, ulcers has been um, reported as somewhere between 5 and 8 percent. And this is uh, on par with that of uh, other types of weight loss surgery, namely the sleeve gastrectomy and the gastric bypass surgery. Uh, perhaps it's even a bit lower than those. Um, there, another long-term advantage of the mini gastric bypass is its ease of reversibility. Uh, if a person were having problems with uh, excessive malabsorption, for example, um, the procedure could be modified or indeed reversed with a, a fairly non-invasive laparoscopic procedure um, that would be a short procedure and likely not involve a major open revision or a long recovery time or hospital stay. So in sum, it has some significant advantages, being less invasive, having few complications, one connection or anastomosis instead of two, and then long term, an ease of modification or reversibility that often does not exist with other procedures. 
Um, while there's no perfect procedure yet, and there's not one single operation that has emerged as being clearly head and shoulders above the rest, um, it's clearly time that the mini gastric bypass um, uh, receive its, its due. It, it's clearly a very effective, uh, minimally invasive, long-term surgical weight loss procedure. And when combined with a, uh, a program uh, for long-term um, diet and exercise, is highly effective at uh, helping people lose weight and, and be healthier.